Hey guys, this is Peter with GoodyReader.com and today we have yet another Sony OEM manufactured product. This is the Quirk Logic Paper. And what I mean by OEM is Original Equipment Manufacturer. So basically Sony has stopped selling in the USA at least. So there are other companies like Fujitsu and Quirk Logic and a few others uh, lower named devices that are utilizing the Sony DPT hardware and changing things and making it their own because Sony is still manufacturing the actual device hardware. So what we're going to do is open this up together on camera. I have never opened this up, never even seen this device. It just got sent to us very recently by Quirk Logic. Thank you guys very much for supplying us with this review sample to check out. You will see the box is the exact same as the Sony box without the Sony logos on it. It is different than the Fujitsu box. So that's very interesting. So they do have their little sticker on the front there. It is a vinyl sticker and they're going with the black devices. The black devices for the 13.3 DPT RP1 were discontinued a while back. So it looks like they have gotten a hold of those. And the reason a lot of devices are using the 13.3 Sony device hardware is because they're really, they're really nice. They're really high end devices. The, the, the uh, hardware is very nice. The pen is one of the best pens on the market right now. You can see they are using the Sony DPT pen, but this is the Quirk Logic line, so they have actually removed the logoing on the pen itself. You still have the micro USB and the removal tool with some extra nibs. Now let's check out the device itself because that is what we are here for. The device is the second batch of the Made in China DPTs and there it is right there. It's very nice to get the NFC logo up top and on the back we don't have any logoings uh, of any kind because this is just the OEM shell. So we're just going to do a first time startup and we are not going to do a full review here and now. This will just be a first time startup to show you guys that this is a working device and that everything is all jiving well. You can see the Quirk Logic logo and the software is different so they are booting up and the different animations and whatnot they are not using the same sony internals they have completely redone the actual software and ui elements so that will all be different and proprietary you can see they have started you off with the licensing you just have to zoom through that make sure you read every single word of that Although most people don't, and they just agree. I just read all that. And then it tells you how to get started with the paper. So you have pinching and zooming, rotate, resize, make sure your device is charged, swipe up from the corner to turn page, go to the next page. And all of this will be accessible later on if you want to read that. So if we press the button up top here, you can see you get your uh, workflow applications and whatnot and you do have Chrome on here so this shows us that it is very different than the Sony's offering so we're gonna be diving deep into the Quirk Logic paper it looks like an all-new approach to the digital note-taking world and we're very excited to see what they have to offer but for now this is everything that comes along in the box and if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can let us know. Leave a comment down below. For goodyreader.com and an unboxing of the Quirk Logic paper, this is Peter.